Your hands and your feet are the first parts of your body that are going to impact the ground should you go down on your motorcycle. The importance of boots and gloves, that's what we're going to talk about today on Cruise Man's Garage and it's coming up right now. Now, I don't ever get on my motorcycle without a helmet, without gloves, without boots, and without a jacket. So I know some of you say, well, it's really hot, you know, in the summertime, and that's just too much stuff to wear, so you go for convenience. Uh, I see people all the time out riding my motorcycle, not so much guys on gold wings, but on other bikes that literally have shorts on and sandals or flip-flops where they got their girlfriend on the back with flip-flops on uh, and no gloves. You know, should you have an unfortunate incident on your Goldwing, uh, one of the first things that's going to hit that ground are going to be your hands because you're going to try to stop your fall. And so your palms uh, are probably going to take the brunt of the fall uh, if you have the opportunity to try to stop your fall or, you know, mitigate the fall at all. Uh, if not, then you're going to impact other areas, obviously. So gloves to me are very important. I wear them every time I ride the bike, winter, summer, it doesn't matter. Now, I've got a couple of different pairs of gloves. Actually, I have three different pairs of gloves I want to talk about today. And it's not so much important the brand uh, of glove. Uh, I just prefer the features. Now, here I've got a pair that I bought. Actually, I got these at the... Uh, uh, Deals Gap at the store up there at the Tale of the Dragon. And these are black leather gloves. And what I like about these is they're leather, first of all, because leather is going to provide you the best protection from abrasion. So if you go down on asphalt or gravel or some other rough surface, leather is your best protection. What I like about them is that not only are they comfortable, they're pretty lightweight, but they have knuckle protectors. And I think knuckle protection is really important because if you do flail around on the ground and you hit the back of your hand on something, uh, you don't want to break a knuckle. So knuckle protectors are important. Also, if something were to uh, strike you as you're going down the road, say a rock or some other debris hits your hand, it would protect your knuckles from that. Now, I also have another pair that I purchased. I believe I got these at Cycle Gear. They come in all different colors. I have the white. The reason I got the white, number one, I've got a white gold wing, so it matches. But the main reason is I think they're a little cooler in the summertime instead of the black leather. Uh, that may just be my imagination. But um, they also have a hard plastic knuckle protector, and they also have a leather palm, and they're pretty comfortable. Now, what these have that my black gloves don't have is these have a perforated leather, leather on top. So they do allow a little airflow through them in the summertime, therefore they're a little bit cooler. Good, good pair of gloves. Now for winter riding, when it's really cold, I will wear these Olympia gloves. I like them because they have the bright yellow, kind of matches my jacket, my Olympia jacket. Uh, and they also have knuckle protection, and they're also leather. So they give me the protection of leather, the protection with the knuckles, and they also have a pretty cool little feature on the, I believe it's the left hand, it has like this little, oh, I kind of call it a windshield wiper. It's like this little rubber uh, wiper that you can use to kind of scrape water off your face shield if you need to. I don't use it that much, but it's kind of nice to have it. So those are my gloves. Now, when it comes to boots, I've tried a lot of different boots, um, and most of them I'm not happy with. I've had Alpine Stars, I've had uh, CD, I've had several different brands, and I've kind of settled on the last three pair of boots that I've owned have been the Tour Master uh, Solution 2.0, and that's this boot right here. Now, this is a brand new pair. I've worn them one time. I actually wore them this morning. I got these for Christmas because I've been asking for them, and uh, I've kind of been using these Tour Master Solution 2.0s for mm, probably the last three or four years. And I kind of like them. They're kind of a good compromise uh, for all the features they have. They have a pretty stiff toe. So you want to make sure when you're buying boots that you have some toe protection. Uh, this is for a couple of reasons. Should something fall on your toe, like let's say you went down and the bike fell on your foot, you wouldn't want to crush your toes. 
Uh, it's also good in case, like you said, you're going down the road, you hit a piece of debris and it hits your, uh, the front of your foot, it would protect your toe. Uh, you also look, I look for ankle protection. There is some ankle protection on these boots. Uh, it's not quite as extensive as I would like, it's, but it's pretty good. So again, if you were to go down on the motorcycle and the motorcycle fell on your leg and let's say a foot peg or some other object hit you right on that ankle, uh, this would help protect that area. Now, these are not as high on the, on the calf as some boots, but they're high enough. And I can tell you, I have had things hit me on the highway that if I had not had this part of the boot protecting my leg, it would have cut my leg. So um, this little high top on the boot is a really important feature because it will protect your shin uh, from any damage. I said calf, I meant shin. Um, now, what I like about this boot also is it has a Velcro closure along with a single zipper. Now, I've had boots that have had double zippers. What I don't like about that is two zippers means there's two things to go wrong. The most common failure I've had with boots would be the zipper being bad or jamming or something like that. So with only one zipper on this boot, uh, it, uh, it is less likely to fail. And it has a nice gusset that opens up large enough where I can easily get my foot inside. Now I swap out the little insoles. I buy some higher quality cushion insoles. So I'm not crazy about the ones that come in the boots, but those are cheap. You can swap those out. Uh, as far as waterproof capability, these boots are pretty good uh, with waterproofing. Um, I've ridden them in some pretty heavy rainstorms and they do about as good a job as any boot I've had as far as protecting from water. Now, as the boots age, they will get damaged uh, and they will let water in more likely. Here's an old pair I've had for probably two years and you can see the sole is already pretty worn and there's some worn areas on the sides, cracks in the, I don't even know if it's leather, but cracks in the material and that will allow water to come in. Now, one thing I want to talk about is the sole. And if you'll notice the sole, the tread on these is pretty thick. It's pretty good. It's not quite as grippy as I would like. So in wet weather, uh, when you come to a stop and you put your feet down, it can be a little slick. So you have to kind of uh, be aware of that. I wish Tour Master had a little bit grippier rubber on the sole. I'm sure they use this because either it's inexpensive or it will last a little bit longer. Uh, softer rubber material might wear much faster, but I would prefer that it have a little more grip to it. But overall, these are the boots I like. Now, whatever boot you like, if you have a favorite, please put it in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more safety-related videos or moto vlogs or how-to tips, please click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. So thanks for joining us today for this safety video. Highly recommend that you wear boots and gloves every time you ride. Ride safe.